Hey, welcome back everybody to this channel, another episode of an art review. So if you're new here, my name is Miguel, I'm an artist on this channel and I have plenty of content along with my sister in doing a lot of art related stuff like portraits, art challenges, and many more to come. Be sure to check out the other videos if you're not familiar already. I have plenty of portraits that I've drawn and I also review them. So in this episode, I will be reviewing Anne Frank, my drawing of Anne Frank. So let's get to it and see the process and how I do these portraits. So obviously when I look for references of Anne Frank, it's black and white photos. I really intend to still make this a colored portrait. It was a bit of a challenge trying to come up with the colors that are appropriate in drawing Anne Frank and rendering her and how I would perceive her in color. And uh, as you can see, there's plenty of marks in the background. I made a huge mistake and had to start over. Uh, but it was also a way of adding texture to the background, so it gives it a bit more creative impression. This was a pretty odd challenge, because Anne Frank has gamine facial structure, and that facial structure is pretty common in anime, and having grown up drawing anime, it was ironic that it was uh, kind of difficult in capturing her essence with that facial structure. But another cool thing uh, that you can do as an artist is Anne Frank has a particular distinct hair look. So as long as you capture the shape of her hair, you'd be able to make her recognizable once you get the hair shape right as much as the face. So I really did my best here in establishing the shape of her face. So laying down the, the foundation, which is pretty easy enough, just getting the basic color of the skin of the person as well as the shape. So it's beyond that where I had to make sure that the shape is there and the basic color. And once you lay down the other layers of detail, you stay consistent. So here when doing the hair, so the hair is straight up black, but it's not enough to just put the color black. You really want to lay down textures as well. That way you can capture the lighting and the subtle tints of color within black hair. So here, before laying down the color black, I lay down the uh, uh, colors, um, other different kinds of colors, like dark brown, some sepia tones, and also even a bit of light gray to capture the light later on. So here, there's a lot more contrast. So when looking at black and white photos, you can immediately um, it's a good strategy to lay down the contrast early on. That's, that's one way to easily capture the essence of a person. So uh, just based on the photos that I've seen of Anne Frank, there are deep seated areas around her eyes, so you can add more shadows around the eye area, and as well as other shadows like around the neck or even the lower half of the face, such as underneath the lips or even underneath the nose. So once you have that down, you can continue with the other colors. That is Anne Frank, everybody. So let me know what you think in the comments below. I know that was a bit of a odd um, kind of review. It was a bit, honestly, a bit difficult, but I feel like I've captured the hair at least. So let me know what you think. And be sure to check out the other time-lapse videos and um, even the art challenges. I hope you would enjoy them as well. So be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you for checking out this time lapse of Anne Frank, and I will see you on the next episode.